Hi, Stephen Tepper here, Dean of the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts, and I uh, wanted to give you a quick message on Friday afternoon before the weekend. Look, the main thing I want to say is that I want to celebrate everyone, our entire community here at the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts. You guys have been extraordinarily resilient. I want to celebrate um, what I call the little C of creativity, uh, that creative problem solving that you're doing every day to uh, just to move forward in work, in school, with your family. Um, I know that this is constant problem solving and figuring it out and, and you're doing extraordinary work. Um, you know, I also wanna honor the hardship. I wanna honor the frustration, the concern, the anger, loneliness. Um, you are experiencing every emotion in human history the entire range of emotions in full relief at this moment. And you're probably experiencing so many of them in a single day. Um, and so I understand that challenge. Look, I, I feel many of those same things and I also feel optimistic. At my core, I'm trying to find that seed of optimism. Um, you know, these are unprecedented times but I don't think we've ever been better prepared for meeting these times, for defeating this virus, and for doing so quickly. You know, here at ASU, we've got biologists already working on a vaccine. We've got epidemiologists who are studying how this disease spreads so we know more, so we can do more to stop it. We've got sociologists and economists and policymakers trying to understand the impact of this disease on inequality, on systems of support for people in need. We have data scientists who are working on visualization and data analytics and modeling so that we can better see this invisible disease. We've got material scientists, we've got engineers, we've got artists, we've got designers who are working on how to quickly manufacture parts, uh, medical supplies that are in high demand. You know, I'm inspired uh, by our own students and faculty who are sewing masks for hospitals and healthcare workers um, all over the country this is happening. Uh, here we also have a group of folks that are mobilizing all the 3D printers across ASU to begin uh, creating spare parts for ventilators. Uh, again, uh, a, a national need. Um, you know, I'm inspired when I get to drop in on or see recorded class sessions. Uh, last night I watched uh, one of our classes we offered in jazz and social dance and uh, just remarkable to see, you know, there was lecture, there was discussion, there was live dancing, there was a review of great uh, dances through the 20th century. Um, you know, we are really still learning in this new modality, but learning in really creative ways. Uh, our, our School of Arts, Media, and Engineering, you know, the faculty are putting together little modules and posting them on YouTube, um, how to build circuits, how to work with 3D modeling, um, other kinds of digital magic tricks, uh, great work happening everywhere. Um, you know, I'm inspired by all the things that I'm seeing shared on the internet. Uh, music students who have figured out how to, how to record a collaborative, creative uh, piece of music that is powerful and impactful and sharing that out with the world. And we're seeing art students building projects together uh, online and design students and dancers. Um, you know, I encourage you, if you have ideas for those kinds of creative collaborations, to share them with me uh, or ones that you've already done. Uh, I want to be able to trumpet those examples out to the world and to support them and celebrate them as much as I can. Uh, you know, what I'm, 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 I'm perhaps most inspired by is what I will call the checkerboard of humanity. So every time I visit a class or I'm in a Zoom meeting, right, we see all the boxes of faces uh, there on the screen in that, in that beautiful checkerboard. All of us in our own spaces, but joined together, uh, sharing and exchanging and laughing and asking questions. Um, and you know, I think when we look back on this moment of time, we will remember that checkerboard of humanity that we find ourselves in every day. 
as you go off to the weekend, I want you to really think about uh, seeking care and giving care. This is a time that we need to help each other. So seek what you need, give what you can, be there for one another. So uh, go off on the weekend. Uh, I know you'll be busy. All those little C, creative problem solving uh, every day. Um, but I want you to go forward with some peace and uh, find calm, some love this weekend, some connection, um, and, uh, and, and, and let's keep moving forward together. Again, I salute you. Uh, congratulations on being as flexible, adaptable as you are. I admire you. I, I also empathize with all the challenges. And uh, please reach out to me personally, um, heidadeen at asu.edu. Share concerns or ideas uh, anytime. Have a great weekend. Thanks.